Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome back to the basement where I have no idea what I'm doing, but I believe I am watching Lucifer season one, episode four. And thank you all for reminding me or telling me, letting me know that they were filming season one in Vancouver, BC. So all of Chloe's maybe slightly overly done jackets <laughs> fit where they were filming, not where the story takes place. However, here's the thing with that leather jacket. If she, it had just been a regular leather jacket or even a regular leather jacket with a fur trim, that's one thing. But this had a full on animal practically just dripping off of her. Yeah, it's distracting. Beautiful. I think that's why it was distracting because I wanted it. <laughs> but I am so excited to be here and I'm so glad that you're with me as well. So we're gonna jump to it under the big cozy blanket. I am trying out for a first time an amaretto sour, which is a recipe I picked up at the Carnival of Cocktails. We'll give it a whirl, see how it is. Um, you're gonna remember that full episode watch along is available on Patreon. And yeah, let's just get to it. How could you possibly help me? I have the ability to draw out people's forbidden desire. This is delicious, y'all. <laughs> Laird's Aparetto, <laughs> Laird's Amaretto Sour Recipe. Look it up. Are we, <laughs> I'm asking a rhetorical question, sort of. I don't need an answer to. However, is it only going to be murders that we're solving? No, just other, other sorts of crimes. And I guess that means is Zo Zoe Chloe. <laughs> I swear, y'all, I just started drinking. Chloe's, Chloe, Chloe's only in homicide right now. Just because I think it would be interesting to see them mix it up some. No, I think it'd be easier just to skulk around naked because that towel would wiggle out and be on the floor in a nanosecond. Who's making crazy? <laughs> well, good morning, detective. The hell are you doing here? And how did he get into her house? Walk into my house? Yes, well, I hope you don't mind, but I made a little break here. We're taking forever in the shower. And really kept things up since Hot Tub High School, haven't we? Ding dong. Ding dong, baby, ding dong. What? We're already late, so let's go. <laughs> She's gonna run into him so hard someday that belt's gonna be permanently embedded on her forehead. Everybody out. Trixie has to get to school. I have to get to work. Come on, out. You can't throw me out again. So this is a habit. Yes, shocking, isn't it? I've never no. been thrown out of anywhere before in my life. Well, except for heaven, of course. <laughs> really, Chloe? I'm disappointed in you. He has no say. She is single, her house, child away. He has no say. Good, right, you're here. Um, I need to chat. Lucy, so we very does she, who's already in her office? I've been thrown out of a woman's house. Because I mean, I appeal to the feral urge in all women. Certainly, well, certainly you can attest to that. Lucy, <laughs> uh, Lucifer, stop. Yes, of course, sorry, payment first. No, <laughs> no, no. no. Hmm? This is George. George Lucifer? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> what? I just got off the phone with the lieutenant. There's a case. And he had to come to her house to tell her? <laughs> no, that's our only nourishment. <laughs> her name's Lindsay Jolson. She went missing catering a Players Club event. It's one of those skeezy pickup artist groups, you know, that teach geeks how to be sex gods. Oh, wow. Is that a thing for reals? The founder, Carver Career. So he was interrogated? Yep, but his lawyer did all the talking. And with no proof, we're stuck. But there's a player seminar and after party today, and you need to go into cover. Why me? I'm homicide. Because you're our best way in. Because you have boobs and a nice figure, punk it. When I saw the guest list, I recognized one of the names. I guess a lot of high-end club owners are invited. Oh, Lucifer's on the guest list. The last thing I want is the guy I found making my half-naked wife breakfast this morning, spending more time with her, separated or not. 
I just gave myself a headache. The detective seems like a very lovely woman. Well, I suppose, but still, she's human. Why is she able to refuse my charms? I mean, is this thing on? Yes, yes. Definitely on. It's not that you're afraid that you don't have power over Chloe. It's that you're afraid that she has power over you. Well, that's very astute. People don't have power over us. We give it to them. You have to take your power back. You need to really get to know her, warts and all. <laughs> sure she has some. You hope she has some. <laughs> You're right. It's not her, it's me. I need to take back control. I need to behave like I always have. Good. <laughs> I mean, it seems obvious now, actually. How has he behaved? I need to have sex with her. Uh, uh. Not what I said. No, 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 you're a genius. I mean, that's the best way to lose interest, right? <gasps> oh. 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 Thanks, love. Oh, sure. Payment next time, okay? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> it's a work thing. Oh. And are you going to help me or not? All right. Because it coincides perfectly with my own plan. And what plan is that? We'd have sex with you, of course. Look, let me make myself perfectly clear. I will never, ever sleep with you. Never. Okay? Got it? Playing hard to get, I like this. When hell freezes over you, I can arrange that. <laughs> Is that what's actually happening now with him gone? Is it freezing over? What is happening now? The the demons are just running amok. Amok, amok, amok. Well, hello. He's not been to one of these before? There you are, Mr. Monster. And you're something else. Did you just number close the name tag, girl? Use this wisely. You're welcome. What exactly is this? Get your hands off me! I want to talk to Carver Cruz! I need you to leave. He's <gasps> looking for his sister! Look, I'm sorry, he has to leave the premises. Why not? Not a means necessary, officer. Besides, isn't this quite boring? I mean, there are several lovely ladies milling around out there. Which one do you desire? You. <laughs> I'm gay. Lovely. <laughs> well, my dance card's full with this one, I'm afraid, but the odds are definitely in your favor out there. It's gone, eh? Hey? Go forth and conquer. I know you want it. Yeah. <laughs> right. Well, that was a rather an interesting way to well, defuse the situation. How did you know that? Because she's a cop. Great, say that louder. I don't think everyone heard you. Right. So I guess we're here, undercover, to find out what happened to your sister. Look, I know my sister. She wouldn't just run off. She's not even from L.A. Kevin, I promise you, if anyone here hurt your sister, I'll find them. And I'll punish them. Any method you prefer. Nice solid flogging, get the old swamp nuts in a vice, you know. Swamp nuts in a vice. No? Oh, no. Oh, no. machines we are warriors we are players i should have poured a double gentlemen we are animals men are the wolves and women are the fluffy bunnies mm -hmm. how follow the lyrics so why of kick-ass cavemen. Cox, right. People paid for this. 5,000 bucks. Stand out. Be a protector. Duh. Women are hardwired to hook up with someone who can help them survive. It is simple biology, man. Why are club, club owners invited to this? Or be a leader of men. And the most elusive 
Be confident. You are a player. Excuse, excuse me. Excuse me question. <laughs> what if you have all those manly whatnots and a woman still doesn't respond? Oh no. You may think you have them, but you don't. So, gentlemen, you follow these rules and you will bed any Betty you desire. Guaranteed. No, no, I'm certain I've got everything on your little list and more, actually. Yet this woman here won't have sex with me. The system works. No, but I doubt that. Because, because if I can't bed a Betty, then how do you possibly expect any of these poor miscreants to succeed? Especially when they're taking advice from a, a wanker such as you. <laughs> that, yeah, yeah, but on, on her. <gasps> you tell me what's wrong with this picture. I mean, I'm me, and she, well, she's a cop for starters. <gasps> security? Security her out. Okay, we're gonna take a 10 minute intermission. What is happening? <laughs> well, someone's in securities. Made his mouth right off. I know. I'm, I'm sorry, Lieutenant. I... No. No. I've got it under control. Yes. Let me talk to him. It's a her. I know. Really? Your boss is a she. Even better. Give me the phone. I'll fix it. No. You can't fix this. So, we're going to the player after party. Not you. I am. Well, I'm not sure how that's possible now that you've blown your cover. Well, that was 100% your fault. I beg None of that would have happened if you just complied with my request. This is striking a different tone now. It should have struck this struck this tone then however however there's a girl missing who's... priorities so our only suspects probably about to run off to mexico and you're worried about phoning me you're right sorry let's find the girl yep. where's the party cold bar well, that place is notoriously overpriced to rent if carver wants cash you shouldn't have it there no he shouldn't Where does she have that hidden up on her? You're gonna help me get Lucifer back to hell. Don't make it painful. You forget. I love pain. Ooh, okay. I'm an angel. You can't beat me, little demon. Can she hurt you though? Men, they always wanna talk. <laughs> Girl, feet. We want the same thing. What do we? Let's see. Is he a virgin? <gasps> uh oh. Did I hit a nerve? Nazi King, we both know. Mazakin. Now, aren't you even the least bit concerned? No. It's a phase. No pass. We can get him back to where he belongs if you could just provide me with a weak spot. No. Means no. Does he listen to that or is he like Lucifer? Ooh! I am intrigued! Uh, Lucifer. Down in the room. Just getting ready. Is he gonna come out naked? Look, this is a professional relationship. I'm a police officer and you... We knew that was coming. Speaking of my surprise visit yesterday, I decided turnabouts, fair play, you know, tit for tat sort of thing. <laughs> this is beyond inappropriate. And brave, wouldn't you say? Number three on the CKC list, take risks. Okay, just, this for... Put some freaking clothes on. Seriously, darling, are you well? The berries are ripe and ready to be harvested. I mean, look at me. <laughs> I've heard quite a few, but berries are ripe and what's on his back? Are those his wings? Oh, his wings are terrible. Oh. What happened to my God? Mm, yeah. Mm. It is his fault. Whose fault? My father. 
Your dad did that to you. No, 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 that's where I cut my wings off. Oh, he did it to himself. Well, I didn't, Maze did. I told her to. What? Kiss the dead. Don't, please. What's wrong with his eyes? I should get dressed, otherwise we'll miss the party. So you did make the call? Yes, 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 yes. Parties at Lux. Turns out the words open bar are indeed effective, so... Open bar. Those are magic words. Where did you get this dress, anyhow? Oh, it left behind by one of my overnight guests. <laughs> what was she wearing when she left? Mm -hmm. A smile. Mm. Avoid him for now. Mingle. Find people who were at the party last week. Hey. Hi. Are you from Tennessee? No. Because you're the only ten. ten. I see. Oh, Jesus, oh, Mary, awesome. Joseph. Does that actually work? No. <laughs> it's cute. It, it is? You're, you're cute. Hey, were you at that party last week? Uh, no, actually, this is my first. Okay. okay. <laughs> I think we've been spotted. No shit. No shit! <laughs> a man with nothing to hide. Move! Get out of the <gasps> What the hell? Give me the gun, Carver. Just... Who's calling me? Nobody should be calling me. Oh, it's my mother. I'll call her later. You don't understand. I have to go. They're gonna kill her now. You just killed Lindsay. The people who took her. He needs to fill in the details. If that's the case, then why wouldn't you go to the cops? Because they said they'd kill her if I did. What game's the player playing, eh? What are you after? I just want Lindsay back. I love her. So was she taken for ransom? I tried to keep it quiet. Because, you know, I'm the man and everything. I guess it got out. So you're saying you slept with Lindsay on multiple occasions but you still want to be with her? Yes, and for the rest of my life. Well, after four months, you haven't got her, you know, out of your system. <laughs> How's that possible? Because he cares about her in his own way. Is there anyone you suspect that might do this to you? I'm kind of a polarizing guy, okay? The hater list is long. Hello there, this is Lucifer Morningstar. Hey, who's on the phone? All one word, that's right. Yes, I'll be speaking on Carver's behalf from now on. Of course we have the money. Just give me a time and location. Give me the phone. No, I promise you, no police, all right? Okay, then. See you wait, shortly. Wait. Bye. Is her brother the kidnapper? Um, just a minute. How do we know Lindsay's still alive? No, they've hung up. <laughs> Why would you do that for me? Well... Isn't it obvious? Just curious. Number two on your list, be a protector. Is it working? Is it working? <laughs> Inconspicuous. Cool ranch puff? No, thanks. No? It's funny, isn't it? You'd think the king of hellfire would be more of a flaming hot guy, but love these bad boys. Because they're cool and refreshing. Ish. All powerful, immortal, blah, blah, blah. Does that mean you don't feel pain at all? Is she gonna try to stab him? I do feel something, but it's not pain so much as uh, pressure, nuisance, really. So what does it feel like if you get shot? Ow. Well, you asked. Bullet just bounces off you? Well, there's no wound or blood, if that's what you mean. And so no horns. No, afraid not. That's the stuff of movies and TV. Mm -hmm. They always get it wrong. I do believe there's good and evil and right and wrong. But the whole fiery damnation thing, no. Does it scare you? No, I mean, how could I be scared of something that I don't believe in? Do I scare you? Obviously not in the way that one would think. I should say not overtly. To follow this, well done, Detective. No, he didn't follow us. He how did he know? Yeah, how did he know? <laughs> <laughs> how?
has he taken your warnings yet? Sorry, but I gave my word. No police. Hey guys, I'm gonna need you sooner than I thought. Is SWAT ready? No. Okay. Manly as ever. Why are you here? Well, after you left, the kidnappers called back. They said they changed their minds, and I come or the deal's off. Just hand over the cash, and no one gets hurt. My rules. Money first. Think that's the brother? Greedy little jack of a It's Papa Ned. <laughs> now bring us the girl. I'm sorry. That's not gonna happen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a deal's a deal. I am not leaving here without Lindsay. No way. <sighs> Forgot about his gun. Carver? Oh no. Someone shot him from behind. Love of your life, Lindsay. Yeah, sorry. But I can't let you shoot my brother. Mm -hmm. What's up, jackass? This foul woman and a backward brother played the player. Hell truly hath no fury like a woman scorned. You did scorn her, didn't you? No. I love you. Love me. Still? Are you kidding? You don't even remember my name. I met you two years ago, Carver. We slept together. And then you never called me again. Guess I was research for your stupid book. Well, no, I, I, I would have remembered. No, nope. I met you at the library. It's a good place to score desperate babes. It's in chapter 11, I believe. Oh, that's bad. I was a virgin, Carver. That's worse. I, I, I'm different now. No, nope. I don't think so. Okay, may I speak now? Because I happen to be an expert on punishment, and I'm not sure it fits the crime here. You're different. He's changed. Doesn't that mean anything to you? Oh, oh, he's questioning existence. She's right. I, I deserve it. No, you don't. I mean, chlamydia, raging case of crabs, not death. And you, how are you any better? Why do humans think they can rectify one evil with another? I mean, it's clearly the first time this reptile's truly loved a woman, and this is his reward. Yeah, that is kind of a... Why does everyone say that before they're punished? Don't kill me! It's like that last second absolution. Detective, you should leave. Who are you? Woman. What are you? I mean, you've said yourself there are things you can't explain. You need more proof you've got the gun. Come on, shoot me. I can't shoot you. Sure you can. Come on, give her a squeeze. We'll be good to go. No. Just shoot me, detective, please, because maybe you're finally... <laughs> good for you! <laughs> I can't breathe. <laughs> God, actually, you know it's hurting a little bit. It's... God, it's hurting a lot. Son of a bitch, it really hurts. I'm bleeding. Oh, this is new for him? Of course you're bleeding. God, what have I done? Is this new for him? Okay. What does this mean? Well, it means I shot you and I'm an idiot. And I'm sorry and I'm... Yeah, it didn't take much to go with her now, did it? What's happening to me? He's becoming human! Oh, he's chatting her up. <laughs> well, speak of the devil. Oh, is that the boss? Oh, Lieutenant. I was just telling your boss that if you hadn't acted in the way that you did, then... Well, all hell would have broke loose, isn't that right? Hmm. Just a graze, I hardly felt it. <laughs> and call me Lucifer. Lucifer. <clears throat> what have I seen her in recently? It's gonna distract me. Have a good night. Drive safe. What was she in? It's gonna drive me insane. Can't sleep when you're not home. Come on, I'll tuck you in. What's that on your shirt? Blood. Um, that's uh, that's ketchup from lunch. Nuh-uh. that's blood, ma. I may have hit someone with a bullet. 
You shot someone? Again? <laughs> Who? It was Lucifer. Is he okay? He's fine. It was <laughs> nothing. Remember last week I told you that boy Noah keeps throwing furniture at me at lunchtime? And you said it actually might mean he likes me. Which is messed well, up. Since you shot Lucifer, it must mean you really like him. Oh, this is a different time, which wasn't that long ago. What happened to you? Oh, you'll never guess. She shot me, and I bled. What's causing this? Is there something you're not telling me? No, I don't think about it too much. It's exciting. No, it's dangerous. So what happens if the Lord of the Underworld dies? Tell me we're going home. On the contrary, Maze. The fun's just begun. So our, our character arc is growing at a rapid pace, which makes me wonder, what, what more could there be? What more could there be? There's so much more story left to tell. This episode is very interesting watching with, right now in my time, 2024 eyes. But I don't know when this was, I could look, but this was made not that long ago. But where we are as a society <laughs> with consent, consent's huge. I write romance novels, BDSM novels. Consent is huge. So seeing the consent and the no means no issues and the ugh, manipulating and how to bag a babe shit. And, and then he <laughs> finally... <laughs> Feels free to open up to a woman carver and she's vindictive as hell because he treated her badly. So of course, you know, did he deserve something? Maybe death, like Lucifer said, extreme. I mean, it's just the themes, the themes of this episode are very interesting to watch now. Have we grown as a society or have we gone deeper in the hole? And okay, also I wonder all y'alls, so half of my viewership is out of this country. <laughs> So is the discussion on consent, male, female, boundaries, no means no, is that universal or is it very much an American thing? Oh, I wonder. I wonder. But Lucifer can bleed. Lucifer can feel pain. What does that mean? And... I wonder going forward, because, you know, we got a lot more story to tell. How long does he need to be in hell to regenerate his powers? Can, is, is that a possibility? Will we see that him going back to hell for half a second? If he goes back to hell, is he there forever? Can he never leave? Because it says he's on vacation. We usually go home after vacation. Oh, curiouser and curiouser. Hmm. Yeah, what's he afraid to go back to, I wonder. And I would like more scenes with Dr. Linda. Those are delightful because she does get right to the heart of it, which I enjoy. Mm -hmm. So there we go. Episode four, we are underway of this journey. Thank you so much for being with me for this adventure. And before we go, okay, so hit subscribe if you haven't already so we know when the next video drops in the queue and take care of yourselves. This is your reminder to stand, walk around the room. This is also a reminder.